about half of Singapore's 5.7 million population were vaccinated with at least one dose of vaccines developed by Pfizer, BioNTech, and Moderna. The ministers Gang Kim Yong, Lawrence Wong, and Ong Ye Kung said in an opinion piece in the Strait Times newspaper published last June 24 that COVID-19 can't be eradicated. It will be very likely to become endemic and people have to live with it. They have cited influenza as an example of an endemic disease. According to the ministers, many people catch the flu every year and most of them recover without needing to be hospitalized. Some are having medicine and some don't. Few can get very ill, especially the elderly and those with comorbidities. People globally get to live with influenza because chances of falling very ill are low. Taking simple precautions or getting an annual flu job, the public can continue their daily activities even during flu season. Singapore's priority is making COVID-19 to be less threatening just like influenza, hand, foot and mouth disease or chicken pox. The government is focusing on vaccinations, faster testings, improving treatments, and convincing people to do their social responsibility. The Prime Minister said on his broadcast interview last May 31 that, quote, unquote, we aim to have two-thirds of our population take at least their first dose by early July. We are on track to achieve that target. Our next milestone will be to have at least two-thirds of our population fully vaccinated with two doses around National Day. The country believes that vaccines are highly effective in reducing the risk of infection, as well as transmission. Despite having high vaccination pace, Singapore has still strict rules governing social gatherings, mass wearing, contact tracing, and travel compared to other countries. Singapore also make faster testing by rolling out antigen rapid tests, including self-tests, to polyclinics, private clinics, employers, premises owners, and pharmacies, so people can get themselves tested regularly using a variety of fast and easy tests. This will be used more also to ensure that events, social activities, and overseas trips can take place safely. Added to that, the country's COVID-19 mortality rate is among the lowest in the world. They have worked on a range of effective treatments like therapeutic agents that are effective in treating the critically ill, quickening recovery, and reducing disease progression, severity, and mortality. Singapore's Ministry of Health and Medical Researchers are working together for the development of new treatments and ensuring its adequate supplies. Instead of the daily monitoring COVID-19 infection numbers, the authorities will focus on the outcomes like how many fall very sick to monitor the number of people who need to be hospitalized and to know those infected that can recover at home. Lastly, for the ministers, the participation of the Singaporean to do their social responsibility will make the society safer. Practicing good personal hygiene, people are less likely to be infected. Staying away from crowds when feeling unwell will reduce the transmission. Everybody should take responsibility for their actions. Singapore is indeed drawing up a roadmap to transmit to the new normal. I am Lovely Montoya of Manila STV.